Every day, over 100 trucks collect raw sewage from across the city, and they bring them here, ironically called Lavender Hill. They dump them directly into the ocean. The stench is terrible. Uh, it's, it's, it's so bad that you can hardly breathe. Down the road, we are doing things differently. Every morning, we take about 40 trucks. Yeah, we are, we, are, we are hopeful that very soon, uh, when we have all the infrastructure in place, uh, we'll be able to treat all the sludge that comes from the Accra city uh, to be treated. It will no longer be in the ocean. So this is the process. We have built a holding tank that is 4 meters deep and 22 meters in diameter. Here we have our waste trucks. They come and they empty the raw sludge into a filter that removes the plastics, the fabrics and other foreign material that are part of the sludge. Every day we can take up to 120 trucks. That equals about uh, 12 to 1300 cubic meters. So throughout the day, the trucks keep coming. They pour the raw liquid sludge right in here. The filter is gathering plastic, etc., etc. And from here, we suck it up through this hose into our containers. We fill them up and we let it sit overnight for the water to sink out. This is now a filled container. We fill one container approximately 45 minutes and this was just 45 minutes ago raw sludge you look at it already now you see that consistency is hard water is pouring out of it and by letting this sit overnight it's going to become like a sponge before of the container this is now two days and it's almost dry this couple of more days is ready for composting this is dried feces this is coming right after we have treated it so after we dry the feces we fill it into a barrel as you are seeing now then we burn it so we, we are burning it to turn it into charcoal after it's burned this is what you have, that is charcoal. Uh, we grind it to powder. We use cassava flour as a binding agent and bind it together, put it into a press and press it out into very nice charcoal shapes for domestic cooking. For that, in the next few months, we're able to process 100% of all the liquid waste and discharge safe water into the sea. Indeed, it is incumbent on us to do so because the Environmental Protection Agency has a court order, you know, uh, banning the dumping of liquid waste in the sea. Government is going to support the Accra Metropolitan Authority to be able to ensure that as soon as possible we are able to process 100% of the liquid waste. But I wish to note that there are many lavender hills all over the country in every district where water closets are used, the cesspits have to be dis dislodged. And if they are dislodged, that excrement is dumped in various places, including even worse in some freshwater streams. And so this technology that we've seen, the Danish technology, even after we fully operationalize the new liquid waste sewage treatment plant, the MUDO, we would want to apply this technology in other parts of the country to be able to treat the waste. 